Yo, what's up guys? Want to know how to create this design? Well, I did too. So I asked SB Graphics to show us how to make it. I already shown you how to create a design involving the Medusa sculpture, but I was intrigued by the lines on the back and the graphic pattern. This video is like a rebranding of my other video. At the end of the video, I'll be adding my personal touch to it. Let's get started. So the first step he did was to download the Medusa image, adding some texture with the noise tool and some tape over the eyes. After he used the main concept from my other video and added the word global, that if you don't know already is my channel name, and a sort of glitch 3D green effect. Then he proceeded with the outer part of the design, adding the full brand name in a vivid pink with a foreshadow line font version. He did the same thing for the left part of the text. Okay, now it's arriving the part that in my opinion changed completely the game and the concept. That is the background globe lines. He made them in Illustrator creating a 3D globe that then will be enlarged and cut out in Photoshop. He decreased the brightness and modified slightly the exposure tab to make the globe more of a background. Oh, and that's it. Now I just need to make the last touches. Before making them, I want to tell you in advance that this rebranding of my original design idea came directly to him and he's the author of this design and I can't thank him enough for helping me make this video. Now it's arrived my turn. The things I identified that I needed to add and modify are the color of the 3D green global text that is not matching too much the pink color, the position of the side text, add a Chinese text in the bottom corner and a definition of the word Medusa. Oh and I almost forgot even a barcode to make the design more complex and complete. Okay now that we have a clear plan on what I need to do, let's get straight into Photoshop. I'm starting from the side text by changing the font into a more familiar and personal signature font that I use in every design. Okay, now that I'm done with the text, let's add a Chinese word to fill in space. Firstly, I wanted to use a Japanese text, but it was too long and didn't fit perfectly the design. So I opted for a Chinese version designed in the same way the main top text is. Then I got the Medusa definition from a random site and pasted it into Photoshop. After I changed the green color of the global text and added a barcode. Oh, and that's pretty much it. Now, just for the context, I created a final showcase video. So here's the final result.
thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it please make sure to subscribe and follow the man himself that rebranded the mendoza version on instagram link in description thank you guys see you in the next one